you watching africa mugu my name is amatricia it is the entertainment update now mi who is a rapper from nigeria called sarkodie on a video call conversation actually between the two and mi made mention of the fact that he sees sarkodie as a legend he actually witnessed a performance by sarkodie during like a decade ago during the vgma and he was wild and got goosebumps while I was watching Sakodi on stage. Like, they are both rappers, but to see one doing so good and so extraordinary, he was really surprised by Sakodi's performance. So, moving on to the conversation, MI told Sakodi that he would want the two of them to meet and actually do something together. And Sakodi said, why, why not? You know, two artists, they need to come together, collaborate. So, I'm anticipating a, a single from both of them. In either way also like days back someone actually asked Sarkodie if he would have a rap competition with MI if he was to be given 200k dollars and Sarkodie said why hey who wouldn't want it yes I sure would do it so KC who is also a Nigerian musician actually also said that he will add 100k dollars to the already 200k dollars if the rap competition is set to happen wow wow it will be 300k dollars and whoever wins it will not only get this money but will be known to the world or to africa as the best rapper you know this we love this kind of competitions so mi has also come out to say that yes he's also ready to go with the challenge if the challenge is set and the money is ready now you know we are talking about money he's ready to do it oh yes now, so let's just wait to see what will happen we will be bringing to you the video conversation between the two you will enjoy it it was a nice one don't forget to like the video and also subscribe it is very important if you want more of this update thanks for watching i am Amma Trisha. uh shout out to king sark he told me he was gonna come through and uh he did god bless you sark I have a story to tell about Sark, but it's a real story. Hey! What's good? <laughs> What's good, my G? Mr. Incredible. So this is how, so what do boss. legends do? What do legends do during uh, lockdown? Do I even know I need to ask you that question? You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to good ask to you that you, question. Bless Yo, you. Bless you, you. You know that, you know this is one of our last few times of mm. being friendly, because once that money comes through, it's war, <laughs> Nah, bro. It's always been like this from the It's never changed. It's <laughs> yeah, never bro. changed, big bro. Yeah, What's appreciate good, you. Bro? I want to. I, I want to tell a story about you, right? Okay. And then I, I'll play the record. I know you are busy. You know, I, I appreciate you coming through. I hit no, you up last it's, it's M. It's M. You need to always find time. Trust me. <laughs> Bless King. I remember that. Um, so one day call and I were coming up around the same time, right? And um, this is right before one day call did the song with uh, R Two Bs. Yeah. Right, right before the song answer. came out. So we're coming up around the same time. Like it's always him and I at the back, you know, the band and all these guys are the big artists who will be sitting in the corner. Like, and one time he came back, you know, I don't know if people know how like funny and expressive one day is. Yes. One day was like, yo, M, I just met the guy. So this is 2008, 2008, maybe 2009. He's like, I just met the guy. This guy, man, I, am I? Let me tell you, I, blah, 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 he was on stage. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the f who the fuck is this guy he's talking about? He's like, yo, this guy's name is Sako there. So you always hear this as an MC. I'm sure you've had this where yeah. every guy that comes up is the next guy, True. right? True. <laughs> I go to Ghana for the Foresight Music Awards, mm. right? And I remember I'm sitting, I'm sitting there. Shout out to uh, Joey 234, 233 Connect, I think it is. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Joe. I'm sitting there. And you came up and you did a performance where you brought a poop in on stage. Mm. Bro, I like I have goosebumps <laughs> thinking about that shit, bro. You brought Bless a poop you. in on stage, came out with a Bible, you started rapping, and, and since then, like, you know, I'm from a country where we have we have so many dope artists that it's hard for a rapper to be True. to be at the top. And there are a few guys that have done it. I think Olamide unquestionably has been the biggest artist numerous years in the country. Mm. You know, uh, files, I think it's somebody else, Ice Prince, you know, but that was always, that was always a dream of mine to be like the top guy in a year, to win album of the year, but now I'm talking to the guy that, how many years now? 
<laughs> How many years you, uh, you held the whole the whole country down? Yeah, legend, it's been a, de- a legend, decade. Legend, legend. It's been a decade. Yeah, <laughs> bro, it's been a decade. Respect, man. It's crazy. Respect, man. But you've done you've done a lot, bro. Big boy, you've really done a lot. You know, from far. As you said, that's that's something that as rappers we think about a lot, especially in Africa, where the major sound is Afrobeat, which is like commercial, super commercial music. And people who are like watching this right now, they, they don't know that as rappers, as much as we like the big records, right? The song that you're playing, I know this is like deep to your heart. This is this is what you want to do each and every like second. Yeah. But commercially, you know, we have this Afrobeat big records, they are leading when you take the Wiz, David, they will do the hooks that it would take us, you know, forever to come out. Not, not, not to shade, but yeah, they are not songs that will come to us naturally. Yeah, you know. So absolutely. to be an MC, to go toe to toe with them, you really need to strap up. It's, it's, it's a war out there, you know. So sometimes we cheat the game a little bit. We can go into their world, come back, and give them the real rap, you know, because we have fans who really want to listen to rap. And trust me, my following don't really like my commercial music. They don't, you know. Let me let me ask you a question. Fine. Yeah. So I have a few, uh, I want to call them friends. So, mm. so this is my 13th year since my first single came out, right? Wow. And 13 years, listen, listen, at the end of the year, if they do a hip hop list, I think that I'll be one of the top artists. It would mean that in three decades, I've been a top rapper in the, in the decade preceding, in the teens, in the 20s, and now going into the 2020s, right? Yeah. I've been a top rapper in Nigeria. And I put out two projects that are dear to my heart. This guy writes an article saying that uh, he's, he had a quote where he said, I'm taking hip hop back to the dark ages. Like, I'm like, Emma is actually taking hip hop back to the dark ages. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you get that in, do you get that in, um, in, in Ghana? Like, where the media sometimes are putting that pressure on you, where it's like, you know, you, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you, if you yeah. do the hip hop record, they're hating on you. If you do the commercial record, they're hating on you. Yeah, it's, it's always like that. But from, from scratch, I just develop a strategy to be able to sustain what I'm doing in this industry. Like, what I read, I, I really don't care. It's, it's about what I feel, you know. So if I feel like it, I'm going to do it. And I've not been proven wrong for a long time. So it's going to be yeah. very hard for uh, an article to change my, my view on how I see things. Like, with, like two days ago, I started with the whole bring back a Zonto thing. When I say Azonto, South Korea comes in mind. But if you really look at the sounds I've done for Azonto, it's not past three or four. It's just huge records. And then anybody else that want to follow up on that genre can also yeah. go and do it. But if you leave South Korea on a daily basis, I just want to rap. And they know it. Well, when it comes to rap, I'll go in. So you could do this and do that. Anybody who just want to push you on their path, what they feel like MI is supposed to do, is going to put out, put out an article. But I know how you are, how strong you've been doing this, and you know what you stand for, bro. Like, we don't care. I don't even see that article. I will not even read that and take that serious. Yeah. You know, so I, I mean, don't just, think anybody should care. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to me that um, I, I say that. I, I say that not for me. Like, I don't care. I make music. Yeah. I said it in a song with WHP, God Rest the Soul, Legend. I said, I make music for me. I don't comply. But I think, you know, you highlighted the, the young rappers that are listening to us have this conversation, you know. Okay. And... Uh, I think that as an artist, you can never bank on what's going to happen. You can't, you can't tell. Mm-mm. But at least if you do your, if you do what your heart tells you to do, you know, at least you can walk away from the game, no matter what happens, saying, you know, I gave it my all. I want to play the record we did together, but I want to tell you my favorite verse of yours. Okay. My favorite verse of yours is a freestyle that, cool. that you did for, it's about the black girl and loving herself. And Oh, yeah. Dog was for BET, right? <laughs> yeah, BET. Yo, is it on YouTube? I think so. Yeah, it yo, should I be. gotta find that shit right now, dog. That <laughs> shit. Yo, yo, yo. But you know, at the same time, you came to the crib. I was in the state of mind, right? Yo, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. When you came to the crib, I had, I was, I'm still in that that frame of mind. You know, I'm trying to like get like a whole project about that. So. Yeah. Be, I, I want to come, come out to Ghana to work. So yeah. when I come, I hit you up. I hit you up. So. But you know, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the states. You know. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, till this yeah. thing I'm is forward to go back. Till this thing is uh, over. Yes. So who's who's? Hello. You see, Nigeria, my country has. Uh... 
decided to. Uh... <laughs> the page you have visited, huh? You know, <laughs> bro, this is a terrible moment for Nigeria versus Ghana. This is a terrible <laughs> right now. It's a terrible moment. It's a terrible oh, moment. Oh, God. Nigeria, my people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let me play. You know, I, what's that, I what's spend... that freestyle called? What's, what's it uh, called? I, um, I don't know how they'll name that, but I know it's BET, the BET Cypher. I don't think it's. Uh, yeah. No, but I think it was just you. Was it? Were you with anybody else? Yes, I was with um, Kalash. I think he started, and then I came in. But oh, I think yeah, people, yeah, that's true. I think what happened? I saw, I saw it on Twitter. I saw it on Twitter. So you cut out your part. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it. I'll yeah. find out. Play after this, bro. Respect. Thank you for thank you for darling and God bless you, my G. Bless you. This is Millionaire Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.